Winter driving can be tricky for even the most seasoned drivers, but what about teens with little experience behind the wheel? That's where the KDKA Taking the Lead for Driving Skills for Life program can help. It teaches young drivers the skills they need to stay safe on the road. Here with tips to share with your teens, we have the program partners, uh, Marsha Usack of the Ford Motor Company, Pam Wahal of the Allegheny County Pre-Trial Services, and Melinda Bondarenko with the Pennsylvania State Police. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Great You're to welcome. see you. I know this is designed for teens, but I think we all could learn something from safe driving skills, especially yeah. with the weather like it is now. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we always we do the monthly assemblies with the high schools, right? And we always try to bring out a couple of tips. So uh, I work for Ford Motor Company, so I always try to talk about things about your vehicle, safety of your vehicle. Okay. Um, so a couple of things, uh, you know, you always want to make sure, especially in the winter time right now, living in Pittsburgh, you want to make sure you have good brakes, batteries for the winter yes. but a couple of other like simple tips are things like um, you know make sure that you have extra windshield washer fluid in your car and you want to make sure it's rated for low temperatures because if you get the wrong kind it'll freeze in your car. I tried to use mine yesterday it did not work. You have to have the low temperature <laughs> yes I, I found that way. out too. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah it's you, it's you would assume it all is good because it's windshield wiper fluid. No, no. it has to say low temperatures um, and always have some extra in your car because if you're out driving and you're using a lot like right now I'm using it constantly on these roads right now uh, you want to make sure you have some backup so that if you go to use it and it's gone you can pull over somewhere safe and refill it so make sure you have extra washer fluid. Um, another thing is a lot of people don't think about is if you are out in your car, your battery dies, okay. you need to make sure that you have an extra, like a battery pack cell phone charger. Not just the kind you plug into your car, because if your battery's dead, you can't charge your phone. So make sure that you have one that has the battery charged. Keep it in your car all the time. Make sure it's charged as a backup in case your car does die or yes. you get in an accident, something happens, your car isn't running, and your cell phone's low, you can still make phone calls. Uh, some of the cars even have wireless chargers now, like the new Ford Edge has a wireless charger. Right. But again, you want to have that battery back, pack up, back up. Uh, and then the last thing that I would mention is when you're scraping your car. Obviously, right now, everybody has to scrape in the morning. You have frost. You have ice on your car. Make sure you let your car warm up a little bit before you start scraping. And the main reason for that is your windshield wipers. So if your windshield wipers are frozen to your car and them with your scraper, you're going to tear them and then they're useless. So make sure you let your car defrost for a little while, brush off what you can, and then start scraping. And Pam, those are all very good tips, Marsha. Thank you so much. I want to move to you. Well, let's talk about, you know, you have all the things that Marsha says you need, so you're ready to go, but be smart. Yeah. Really important to keep in mind. Exactly. With the winter conditions, it, it uh, requires our full attention to the roads. So the last thing you want to be is impaired. And whether it's with alcohol or drugs, you have to make sure that there is no impairment because you need to be on top of your game so that if you have to stop, your judgment is, is slowed down whenever you're impaired with anything. You need to be able to make those reactions, that quick reaction time to slow down, to swerve, to whatever. And if you're impaired, um, like I said, with over-the-counter medicine, with the winter, we have a lot of people that are on um, over-the-counter antihistamines. A lot of those will say, do not operate a vehicle because it slows your reaction time down. So you have to be mindful of what you're putting in your body before you get behind the wheel of the car because we want you to be safe. And by you being safe, you can keep the other people on the road safe as well. Right. And, and Melinda, let's talk about, you know, you're out on the roads obviously a lot because you're with state police. But when you're talking about teens learning to drive in this, it's so important that they understand what they need to be, how they need to react when, you know, maybe they skid. And how do you teach them to do that? So what we recommend is if you get permission and you can find an empty safe lot that has snow in it, go with a parent. Practice stopping on that wet surface so you get the feel of your vehicle. That's what we recommend that teens do. So they need to practice sort of in an environment where they aren't in close contact with other vehicles before going out onto the roadway. Yes. And speed, I know we were saying Sunday morning that the speed was reduced simply because of the road conditions. So you don't need to drive the speed limit below that if the conditions aren't great. Right, most of the time you're gonna keep up with the flow of traffic, keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front of you so that you have a good reaction time. And I wanna add in that make sure that you keep your windshields clear so you have a good visibility, clean that snow and ice off of all the windows so you can see. And that goes back to what you're saying, Marsha, make sure right. that you have the washer fluid in and so that you can see. So let's say parents at home want to know, can they get their kids, their teens, signed up for this? Because there's a lot that's taught in these assembly meetings. 
Yes, um, if they do, they can go online. You go to um, for Driving Skills for Life um, online, and they can sign up and let KDK know that they're interested in bringing the program to their school. And tell me about some of the, I see there's some interaction with the students. I know it's not just you're like lecturing to them, but you're listening to them as well to help them become better drivers. Yes, definitely. We, we each talk about you know, various things that will help them, and then we show a video that goes over some extra safe, safety driving tips, and then afterwards we open up for Q&A. So the students can ask any questions that are on their mind to any of us and um, you know, get the answers that they need to be safe. And another opportunity, you all are going to be at the Pittsburgh Auto Show coming that's right. up. Yeah, that's right. Tell me about Absolutely. that. Yeah, so um, in the past, we were downstairs. We actually have moved up. Our display is going to be upstairs um, along the, say, the main floor, which is the floor with like the um, Ford display. Yes. And um, so it'll be upstairs this year, which is exciting for us. I'm sure it yeah. is. And then we're going to have several um, Right, items. we're going to have the driving simulator there so that people can get behind the wheel and practice driving in, um, with distractions. And that way, it's the safest way to, to learn how to you know, be the best on the road that you can be. My teacher, you're not as good as you think you exactly. are. Exactly. Yeah, adults as well as teenagers. Oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much. Again, find out how to sign up your teens uh, for, the take, for taking the lead, their Driving Skills for Life assembly program, and learn more about the Academy as well online. You'll find the links at kdka.com PTL. Also, look for representatives at the upcoming Pittsburgh Auto Show that's in February at the David Lawrence Convention Center.